So we're going to look at body condition scoring this horse. Um, we look at a range from one to nine, whereas one would be an emaciated, very skeletal looking horse, um, to nine that's very obese and fat. Um, we look at a range of different areas when we're body condition scoring, um, starting with the neck. So we would look at the crest area here, and it's important to be able to feel the horse. You can't always tell whether a horse has got muscle or fat, so you need to actually palpate and see whether you can feel something that's soft. Something that's soft and sort of gives way to your hand is more likely to be fat. Something that's hard, something that feels possibly like your, your muscle in your arm, for example, that's firm, is going to be muscle and top line. So I'm feeling the mare's neck. I can cup her, her crest with my hand and I can move it, but I can certainly feel sort of fatty deposits, certainly in the middle of her neck here. Moving down onto her neck, I'm moving to see sort of whether it's going sort of smoothly into the shoulder, which it is, but it's not as maybe as defined as maybe we would like. So again, you're starting to get a little bit of fatty deposits here. So when your body condition scoring a horse, you need to be looking at the different areas. And we would look in our minds, we're looking at assessing and condition scoring each area so that hopefully you can take an average from each point. Now, this may here, I would probably suggest that she's got a body condition score of about seven, seven and a half here, because she's starting to get quite a thick um, crest where she's got fatty deposits. Moving into sort of the shoulder, again, she's starting to get sort of fat deposits here. Again, it's soft. When I move it with my hand, it's soft. It's not hard and firm or toned, which is what I'm really looking for. Moving up to the wither area, Again, I'm wanting to feel to see whether there are fat pads. And again, she's starting to get a few, you can sort of see the, the indentation here. It's not firm to my hand. Moving along to her rib area. So I want to be running my hands across her ribs. In an ideal world, I want to be able to, to feel her ribs and sort of feel each independent one without actually seeing them. So I want her to have a good coverage, but equally, I want to be able to feel them. Now, I can, when I run my hands along her tummy here and I apply pressure, I can feel her ribs, but I am actually having to apply a reasonable amount of pressure to be able to feel them, which is not ideal. I want it to be sort of relatively easy for me to be able to feel each individual one. Moving up to her back here, you can start to see there is a positive crease, a positive line across her back. Now, I don't really want that. Equally, I don't want to be able to see her spine. I want to be able to cup my hand over, and you can see that my hand is pretty flat on the top here. So again, she's starting to be a little heavy. I'd probably suggest that she's again around a seven, maybe a seven and a half in this area. Moving on to the tail head and coming down onto her quarters, you can see again that there is a crease coming down onto her tail. And when I squ squeeze and I palpate her tail head here, it's again soft. So again, I think this area would be about the seven and a half. So looking at three areas and looking at the body condition score, I would suggest this mare has a body condition score of a seven and a half.